Hi, it's Sandra, founder of Summa Cum Flaude, where failure is a highway. Nope, just kidding. Failure is a springboard for success, not a highway to hell. <sighs> Y'all, this just lets me know I need to vlog more consistently. Anyway, uh, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Um, this is another update video. Actually, I, I think the the spirit behind this video is that it's a fail vlog but i kind of wanted to make it an update video as well never mind my scattered thought process right now i just came back from a semi-formal um harvard's graduate school of education had a winter semi-formal and i wasn't gonna go because i wasn't feeling very social but uh, some friends convinced me to go and i went and Look at me being more spontaneous. Yay. So I went, it was cool. Uh, the DJ was whack, not gonna lie, but you know, it is what it is. Um, but I had a good time. You know, I got to see people dressed up, it was cute. Um, and then I, I, I came back home at like 11.10 to submit an assignment due by 11.59. We thank God because <laughs> I was legit just like, why did I wait until the last minute to do this thing? Um, but anyway, I just wanted to give some context for why my face is beat because I don't wear makeup in all of my videos, but I did today because um, I went to a semi-formal. So um, I guess we'll launch into a little update and then talk about the fill block. Update, um, this week was hard emotionally there was just like a lot going on but it was also really good um in the sense that i got to rest a lot so it's february break here in massachusetts which means that i think most public schools have this week off so for me that means that i didn't have to go to practicum um so practicum is this like i have to be at uh, my school site twice a week for like eight ish hours and on the, the days that I go to practicum, I then have class after. So like I have like 12, 13 hour long days or even longer because I'll like wake up by five or so, um, sometimes earlier, leave the house by like 6.30, get to my site by 7.30 or so. And then, um, and then I have class like around three, four, whatever, five, up until like seven or eight o'clock. So it's just a lot. But I didn't have to go to practicum this week, so I just had to worry about class. Like literally just had to attend class, do assignments. And this was just a really good week of me reading my word, um, journaling, listening to a lot of like sermons and messages on YouTube, um, reading, oh my gosh, I, got to read and it was so wonderful anybody who knows me knows that i'm a self-proclaimed bibliophile i love to read reading makes me so happy and it's like food for my brain literally like when i read i <laughs> sound so corny but i feel myself getting smarter like i literally feel like i grow right and my thoughts get clearer and i'm able to express myself better and so i love to read and i got to do that um, this week and just chill. I've realized that I like to be productive, but I don't like to be like bouncing from one thing to the next. Uh, I like to take my time when I do things. I don't like to rush into things. I don't like having a packed schedule. Um, and I just like to rest. And this week has allowed me to do that. But even then, like emotionally, it was just hard and draining and kind of crappy. Um, but I'm working through that. Um, so fail vlog. Uh, yeah. So over the past few weeks, I've been just taking some time to reflect and think about, um, my goals, my life, things like that. And I've realized that I have a problem with sugar and, um, 
I, I realized this a few weeks ago because I was at my practicum site and I was so down guys, like just so, like I had no energy. I was just like, ugh, why am I here God? This is rough, I don't wanna be here. So tired and sad, right? And then a colleague of mine was like, hey, let's get Dunkin' Donuts coffee. And I was like, I don't feel like spending money, especially since they don't pay me to be here, but let me go get some Dunkin' Donuts coffee, I guess. And I went with her, I got like the caramel craze iced latte. I tell y'all, when that iced coffee, when I took that first sip, I could feel the dopamine rushing to my brain. Like, it was like a hit. I have never done drugs in my entire life and I don't ever plan to, but I've read descriptions. I've watched, you know, documentaries of how drug addicts describe their addiction. And that's literally how I felt when I drank that iced coffee. I said, wow. <laughs> just like that too, just like that. That's exactly what I, my reaction was like, whoa. Like all of a sudden I was super happy. I was bouncing off the walls. I was like a different human being. I was just, at first I walked in the room and then I was like, I love it. I'm happy to be here. It was crazy. And I realized, wow, Sandra, you have a sugar, you have a sugar problem. You have a sugar problem, you got a caffeine problem. And from that day up until let's say maybe like last week, I was making my own iced coffee. Cause it's like, I'm not gonna give Dunkin' Donuts $4 every time I want this thing, right? So let me make my own. And y'all like, it was a horrible decision, horrible. Sugar, like, and I'm talking about added sugar, like, the stuff you find in sweeteners and things like that. Sugar is poison. I'm actually convinced. It's poison. It's a drug. Um, I've noticed the changes as I've increased my sugar consumption. Just like very strange side effects. And it just made me realize that I'm not doing my body a service by engaging in this sugar consumption. And... I, in fact, I owe it to myself to break this dependency. So I've been reflecting on different ways to do that. And thankfully, we are coming upon a time, um, a very spiritually significant, significant, <laughs> spiritually significant time um, called Lent. And I'm not going to go into the history of Lent and blah, 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 Lent. If you know what it is, you know what it is. If you don't, you have the same Google I do. Please go and Google it. But um, uh, for Lent, I would like to give up sugar, like all added sugar. I'm still gonna consume fruit, I guess, in some form, maybe. Um, but all this added sugar stuff, this iced coffee stuff, this like sweets, candy, chocolates, I can't have it anymore. Not for the next 46 days. Um, and I realized by virtue of saying that I, I I put a target on my back, so now all the temptation. Let just let just watch. Now that I've decided I'm not eating added sugar, that's when people want to start giving me candy, chocolate, everything. But guess what? The devil is a liar. I'm not gonna fall to temptation, but pray for your girl. Um, I'm considering you know some other things too that I would like to alter about my diet, but. That'll be another video for another day, but I just wanted to share this with y'all because it's been a while since I've done a fail vlog. And it's not to say that I haven't had failures. I've had a ton, um, I feel like anyway. Um, but it's just been hard trying to like capture those things in a digestible YouTube video. But this one I felt was very easy. I have a problem with sugar and I'm gonna figure out a way to break it. So I wanna encourage anybody out there who is struggling with a, a dependency on sugar like I am, we're gonna break this thing together. If you would like to join me, please go ahead and join me. 
Um, I don't know if I'm going to do like a daily vlog or something to keep myself accountable or to just journey, just document the, the journey or the process. I may do that. We'll see. Um, but yeah, join me. It's never too late. We owe it to ourselves to treat our bodies with the respect that they deserve and to be the best possible versions of ourselves that we can be. And that includes stepping away from things that have mastery over us, things that um, cause us to make bad decisions. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Um, I'm excited about it, but I also realize it's it's a serious undertaking because I really like sugar. Like, I like it so much. So like I said, pray for your girl. Um, I hope you all have a wonderful day, afternoon, evening, wherever you are around the world. Um, stay great, stay amazing. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also hit the bell to get updates from me. And yeah, until next time, bye.